today's fast food toy story will be the second toy from the series of eight toys from the movie Lego Batman, which is currently shown here in the Philippines, February 2017. Okay, uh, our uh, next toy is actually a tin toy again just like the one uh, we did previously so once again I have another box another box from the Lego Batman superheroes work better together okay that's a nice thought I, I think all of us can um, can learn a thing or two from that and working together somewhat similar to Hillary uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, catchphrase during his, her presidential campaign uh, stronger together well although she didn't win the election I think um, uh, the Trump administration could learn uh, a lot from the wisdom of that particular cliche okay now once again our second toy is another tin toy and this time it is Batman and on the other side is Batgirl Wow what a lovely pair if I may do say so <laughs> okay so it's Batman and Batgirl and just like the previous toy you can also pull it apart like this to reveal a hollow um, space inside where you can put a lot of stuff some of your Batman memorabilia or whatever it is that uh, you want to keep in a tin can toy okay now <clears throat> it doesn't have a sticker inside but when I did uh, try to look uh, for the secret surprise inside I saw a lot of pieces and to my amazement it was actually a jigsaw puzzle and I took the liberty of actually putting it all together it's somewhat like a 12-piece jigsaw puzzle and I was able to do it mm, at least five minutes so I think a lot of kids even five year old or three years old can actually do this uh, uh, not so complicated jigsaw puzzle and uh, this is how the jigsaw puzzle would look like once you put it all together okay okay there's a glare so that's it there's Batman there's Robin Batgirl and the iconic um, what's that Batman light coming from the office of Commissioner Gordon well they usually light up that uh, bat signal whenever there is a problem that the police aren't able to solve themselves so they holler and call for Batman and a team to be a help for them okay so that's it okay uh, so now going back I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised that the this toy uh, combined the two um, uh, characters Batman and Batgirl okay I know uh, yeah judging from the the color of the the color of the Batgirl costume this is somewhat reminiscent from the campy TV series way back during the 70s I remember uh, watching that in our television so uh, television set I thought it was in black and white and then later on it uh, turned out to be <laughs> colored uh, especially because uh, we don't have a colored you know, we don't have a colored TV uh, it was only during the late eight, uh, early 80s that we were able to um, buy for ourselves this Zenith television set which is colored and it was it was a novelty it was a very very pleasant viewing experience i mean seeing for us uh for the first time all of these wonderful cartoons and wonderful uh television series including the the batman and robin the dynamic duo in full color it was an amazing experience uh now as I was watching this um, Adam West, Burt Ward, Batman, campy uh, 70s 
series of the dynamic duo. Uh, there is a recurring character, that of uh, the character of Barbara Gordon as Batgirl. Yeah, as we all know, Barbara Gordon is the daughter of Commissioner Gordon, the librarian. And it was always a pleasant treat whenever we see the Batman in the introduction, uh, the Batgirl in the introduction, because we know that Batgirl will be, um, will be uh, playing a vital role in that particular episode. Because there's this cartoon as an intro for that uh, television show. And when we, you see Batgirl uh, doing a cameo, in that introduction, we know for a fact that she will be a part of that particular episode of the Batman and Robin. So her role is uh, a recurring character, you know, fly, uh, once in a blue moon kind of appearances. But when she does appear, it was uh, quite a pleasant treat, especially for our playmates who were girls who really wanted to have a Batgirl uh, in, uh, in the show. Okay, now in that, um, in those recurring appearances, it kind of um, injected in our minds that Batman and Batgirl are actually a couple. Okay, of course they do, they don't they didn't know the true identity of each one. Okay, Batman doesn't know that Batgirl is actually the daughter of Commissioner Gordon, uh, ba Barbara Gordon, and. Batgirl, on the other hand, also doesn't know the real um, character, the real persona behind the masked Cape Crusader, and she didn't know it was actually the billionaire, millionaire Bruce Wayne. <laughs> okay, but then, uh, as they always come across each other, there is um, a kind of a romantic... Um, relationship that is brewing uh, between Batman and Batgirl. Now for us kids, uh, we sometimes tease around and sing this song like uh, Bruce Wayne and Barbara Gordon sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, uh, something like that, without the knowledge of both Batman and Batgirl, that they are actually falling in love with each other. And we're kind of rooting for that uh, love team. The Batman and Batgirl. So we love Bruce Wayne and Barbara Gordon to end up eventually as husbands and wives, perhaps. But the, yeah, so I'm pretty sure Batgirl did fall in love with Batman, and so did Batman towards Batgirl. <clears throat> so when the Tim Burton movie came about, um, we saw Batman falling in love with Catwoman. It appears that Batman is actually in love with the character of, uh, with the alter ego of Selina Kyle, which is Catwoman. So I can only, I can only imagine the desperation or the exasperation of Batgirl. What the heck is going on? I thought it was the love team of Batman and then here he is, a philanderer, or having this liaison of sorts uh, with Catwoman. So uh, this kind of put Batgirl in quite a very, a very sticky dilemma. Or uh, well, I'm al always rooting. I'm still rooting for the Batman and Batgirl love team in the end. And you know, Selina Kyle is a villain, so I don't think they would be compatible. That they would work out together. Not unless uh, Catwoman would uh, go about 180 degrees and totally. Uh, derelict or abandon her evil ways and join the good forces. But as we all know, uh, Catwoman has always been a villain. Okay, now uh, I thought of this song as a fitting song for Batgirl, uh, especially when she realized that uh, Batman is, uh, has fallen in love with Catwoman. For a time uh, when they were together, uh, there was a love connection. She thought that Batman loves her. And then when the dilemma came, as she probably thought, or she was uh, immersed in that situation of limbo. She doesn't know whether uh, such a love will be as lasting as she thought it would. So here's the song for Batman and Batgirl's love story. <laughs>